Community Farm Guy here, and this is the John Deere S7 by Agritono on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map for this test of these two very nice and highly detailed harvesters. Expect none, nothing less than, uh, than highly detailed from Agritono. 43.55 megabytes to download, uh, 22 and 23 slots each on console. Let's get our help window on here and then let's go and find them in the store, shall we? Harvesters, so we have two of them. We have the S7600 and the S7700 to 900. So let's start with the 600, $226,000 to purchase base model, 382 horsepower variable pro drive xl transmission 1250 liters fuel capacity 26 mile per hour top speed capacity of 8800 to 14000 liter capacity in its hopper so let's start with the grain carrier the 8800 liters which is nice it just it gives um the description there when you're choosing so we don't have to look over it like okay well how much how much is it 10 so 10,570 and it says 10,600 so it yeah so it's a bit off uh then we have with arches and the tarp and then the 14 100 is actually 14 100 so foldable right so if you get this one you, you don't have the unfold option when you start it up. If you get the 14,000 liter one, it folds when you get it from the store, just so you know. Wheel Brands Continental, Michelin, Trelleborg, Lizard, and yeah, those basic four. Uh, lizards, well, let's just go through them. We have a standard. We have Transport, Transport 2, Twin Wheels, Twin wheels too. When you get the the track the track and then standard. So we have, and if we go into continental, basically we have all those options. Uh, there isn't really anything different within all of those. Front signaling. We have standard. We have signaling bar. Reflective signaling. So that's placards and reflective signaling too with more placards and back to standard. Numbers, we have numbers one to nine. Rear signaling, we have standard. We have a triangle, we have signaling bar. Signaling bar and triangle, we have reflective signaling and reflective signaling and triangle. So whatever you like, there is quite a variety there. Chipper model. Model one, two, or three. They all do the same thing. It's just a visual uh, change there. Uh, so warning stickers and cameras warn it with warning stickers. So that's on the um, the driver or the past left side door of the cab, shall we say? You can take those off. Uh, we can have warning stickers and cameras where the cameras are. I, I don't actually no actually oh cameras at the back just to the left of the license plate and a warning uh without warning sticks stickers and camera or without warning sticker yeah so all of those options a uh, hundred bucks for whatever you choose uh exhaust we have standard we have model one, model two, or standard. Standard is out the back. So if you don't like that, you want it out the top or out the back. Window film standard, smoke one, smoke two, smoke three, or smoke 82. If you get that reference, you've been following me for a while. Monitor G4, G5, G4 and GP5 g5 and gp5 these are all different style of monitors inside the cab rear gauge actually it's uh, the the rear axle so we have 3.2 well we have a variety of axle uh widths up to 3.84 meters as you can see there 
pipe 6.9 meters nice adjustable 6.9 meters 6.9 with fold adjustable 6.9 with fold and then just a plain old 6.9 there we go so three grand if you go with all the uh, extras shall we say on that right uh, if we go over to look at the S7 700 900 we have 460 to 617 horsepower the variable transmission 1250 liters of fuel 26 miles per hour and this one has 10,600 to 17.2 for capacities we start off with the 10,600 we can have it with uh, arches and tarp 10.6 so that's and then so a different style of 10,006 why does it say 106 it's actually 12 so 106 and then you go to 126 which um a little bit of an error there so it's actually 12,000 rather than the 10 it's saying and then the 106 yeah so there's a there's a discrepancy there uh, we've moved up to the 15.7 now, 15,700. Then we go back to the 14,100. There we go. Now it's uh, now it's driving with the configuration and the information. And then we have that now. This is now it's not con now it's not driving. Now we have 17.2, and then 14.1 folding, and then back here. So we have a folding. Or the seven seventeen thousand two hundred is the biggest option on this engines we have the 460 horsepower we have the 540 617 and that's it six seven oh 100 grand for the uh 617 horsepower engine so be aware of that wheel brands continental michelin trailberg and lizard again we have uh, basically the same options when we come to crawler tracks we have the track three but then we have four which is so let's go through that again crawler track crawler track two crawler track three is a bit of a wider stance or wider spread on the front on the front it's a little bit more pronounced yeah but no matter what brand you get there it's all the choices are the same so there isn't any like variety between the brands the only variety is the tread pattern uh, again the front signaling is the same as the previous one numbers are the same rear signaling is the same everything else is actually the same as the previous so i'm not going to bore you through oh except for the pipe right pipe is we have a 6.9 a 7.9 8.9 adjustable 6.9 7 and 8 6 9 with fold 7 9 and 8 9 with fold and adjustable 6.9 meter with fold 7 9 and 8 9 so you have every single possible option with the pipe length maximum 8.9 meters right okay finally so let's uh i do believe yes this is the s7 i have in there i've been uh, testing it with corn with a corn header uh so let's do one thing first and that is unload it because it's full and we're going to selling points here and we're just going to set this up real quick here right at the edge of the field to do that quickly and we're going to pipe out and see uh, this is the maximum capacity how fast will it unload excuse me and there we go so we're unloading now pretty standard I would say R1 and right stick up and down is that adjustable end on there so you can adjust that and that is uh, 
done there, so not excessive amount of time. L1 and down, pipe out. So let's look at the options. We have quite a number of options with this, as you can see. First of all, L1 and X fold, so that's the folding top. Now, if you have a top like the other one, you don't, uh, although you will have that option for the pipe if you have a folding pipe. So just so you know, there we go, unfold. All right. Interior, we're going to be looking at the interior for uh, quite a number of the options in a moment. We have lots of lights, signals. As you can see, I have the um, this signal option. Oh, farm dog Max, someone is approaching the farmyard. All right, good dog, that farm dog Max. Um, where were we? Yes. Folding the harvester. Uh, that's the uh, adjusting the tip. There we go. L1 and R1. Uh, if we go inside and look to the left, L1 and R1 left stick adjust that left mirror. And I do believe... Uh, oh, yes. This is outside. So if you have the uh, extendable... Um, lights L1 and R1 right stick it tucks away the ladder and puts the lights out too so whatever you like there you go now tap your triangle button one more time and interior animations <clears throat> so here's our oh let's start let's turn it off uh, and start it up with our monitors there we go very nice I, I'm sure they don't actually light up that fast <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> anyways, there's your monitors. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, L1 nothing, R1, we have right stick, right and left. Oh, that's the chair, yes. Uh, chair adjustment, up and down, right, left. L1 and R1, right stick, left and right, you're adjusting your tilt steering, and the left stick is your door. Tap it one more time, and we have side covers. R1, right stick. That's the right side, I do believe. Yes. So right and left, you can open that. It extends the ladder out and up and down. We can open up that side cover. And L1 and R1, right stick, opens and closes those other side covers. Tap it one more time, and we have the stairs and mirrors again. So let's go over here. and turn our blinker off. Right, so uh, for the purpose of my testing to expedite it, I have attached the um, tool height control uh, headers so I could go faster. <clears throat> so it is going faster than the six miles an hour that the base game one would go but it does give you a visual, um, a little bit of a, hey, yes, it does work with that as well. So, just so you can see that. Makes things go a little bit faster. And it can handle it, so it's good to know. If you can handle this, then it'll handle the standard ones for sure. Right. So. That is the S7 um, first model. Now if we uh, take a little jog over here and hop into uh, the other model, the newer, or say more powerful model, let's hop inside and we'll start it up. Also has those monitors. And as you can see, I have... Um, I have a full load of 17,200 liters, and we're going to see how fast that unloads. There we go. As well, we do have... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, there we go. Side mirrors. There we go. Adjustable end on if you choose the adjustable end. There it is. Emptying out quite quickly, actually. Interior again. 
the side mirror uh, oh that's our there we go right stick up and oh that's uh yeah stairs and mirror l1 and r1 there we go stairs mirror up why is it not it is not not doing the mirrors Oh, left stick, right, sorry. Yeah, all the, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> so many adjustments and everything. Uh, I'm not going to go through all, it's exactly the same as the other one. With the folding of the, uh, folding of the stairs and, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's all the same. What I do want to show you is the, uh, the sp the straw dropping to start with so let's just back it up here and this again is a tool height control header so it's going to go much faster than the standard one but I did want to show you it dropping a straw swath there we go and this one has the treads on it so I wanted to test out with treads and one with wheels the other one had wheels this one had treads We'll watch it turn around and then I'll turn on the straw spreading so you can see that it does uh, yeah so it works a little bit differently with the control height headers all right, so there it is. Let's go ahead and turn disable the straw swath. And there we go. Very nice. All right. So another uh, another beautiful John Deere option for harvesters I think some of you are waiting for this one it is very nice everything works perfectly and it looks fine it looks just fine that's a John Deere S7 by Agritono on Farming Simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now